Ladies and gentlemen of the talent squad, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are going live with none other than another tier list video, but we're going to do it live this time. As you can see right off the bat, this one was our last one and it was a little off in quite some, uh, some areas, my friend. So... We're going to fix it live. We're going to have some good little editing going with you guys. We're explaining why I fix it. Probably going to leave a lot where they are. But for the most part, that's just like for the most part. But we're going to get some changes going for you guys right here, right now. Basically, on what I believe is uh, the current tier list for this game right now. So right off the bat, I see here, I want to drag Mr. DK to the playable. Now, DK is really, really good still, in my opinion. But the more I play this game and go against... I mean, I, there's a lot of DKs in my stream, first of all. So, shout-outs to you guys that are playing the, 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 the Donkey Kong. But the more I play him, the more I see how much combo food he is. Now, this is in no order, by the way. We can put him in the hell we want. This is in no order, by the way. But Donkey Kong gets combo to oblivion. Yes, he is good. Yes, he has great tilts, great range, pretty good speed, a good dash, pretty good everything overall. But my man... You hit him one. You hit him once. It just opens up like a freaking uh, like a like a. That's it, dude. He's he's getting bodied. He's zero to sixty every single time, if not more. Like you take a lot of damage from this a high tier character. We have a bit of a wolf, so that's that right there. But DK, he's a good character. He's playable, but I don't think he's like the the. He's not like what I said before. He's top notch. Um, he could be, but he just gets comboed way too easily. If you miss a tech, oh god forbid you miss a tech, you're just getting racked up the wazoo. Uh, overall though, Pichu, if, if we do want to order this, we're gonna put Pichu and like Peach Daisy right there. Uh, we're gonna drop Fox out of here. And we're gonna move up Lucina. This is in no order, by the way. The this is no, no order at all, so keep that in mind. We're gonna put Lucina up there, and we're gonna put Wolf up there as well. Those characters are phenomenal. I think Lucina is a bit better than Wolf, but there's no denying these two characters are absolute top-notch characters of this game. And now uh, you're gonna be in for a good, good, grand old time when you main those characters right there, Talent Squad. Uh, great aerials, great everything. Like, oh man, like Wolf, Wolf does struggle because of his recovery. But, like, it's also not the end of the world. He does have a wall jump. He can go somewhat deep when it comes to, like, your porch covering low. He could go out there a little bit, recover side B. Um, but overall, his recovery is slow and very exploitable by a character such as Space, uh, such as uh, anybody with a sword. Or anybody going deep throughout a nair hitbox kind of thing. You gotta watch out for that. But overall, uh, great character without a doubt. Definitely two solid characters in the game. Um, if I had... Oh, hold on. Let me get Crumb in here. Crumb is, Crumb is good. He's not top-notch. If I had to order this, though, uh, does anybody else want to put in there, though, real quick? Yeah, I don't think Pikachu is that good. I think Pikachu is good. I, I just think Pikachu is better at every level, and I don't think Peach, Pikachu is in the level of, like, anybody here in Top Notch. I still think Ike is really good. You can argue Ike is below here, and that MKLeo just kind of carries the character. But overall, I have a guaranteed Nair up air kill setup. Like, every, every, every instance of the game is pretty damn good. So... Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep him top notch for now. Everybody here, I still believe my boy Dr. Mario, man. I believe he belongs in the good tier. I think this cat is so good. I don't care why does he get more love. Great kill power, great recovery. I think he might have a wall jump as well. Might be wrong, might be a PM. I'm thinking of. But either way, dude's a great projectile. Like he's phenomenal, man. He's so good in my opinion. But I don't know. Maybe we'll make another tier list in the future. We're gonna say Dr. Mario is a little uh lower than he uh, higher than he should be. But overall, I like this. We're gonna get Bowser out of here. Same with Bowser. The more I play Bowser, uh, the more, or more I play against Bowser, the more I realize he does get combo to Oblivion. However, not as bad as DK, because uh, luckily for Bowser, uh, he has some armor to get around that, so you can get through jabs and tilts and things like that, some weak hit hits. So Bowser can literally just tank through that and uh, get comboed a little less and end up doing a lot more damage to the opposition because of that. Uh, anybody else you want to move out? Uh... I haven't seen much Amar play, man. I, I I don't think Amar's bad, but I, I, I he's definitely not top notch in my opinion. Uh, he could be good, but I have yet to see it. I have yet to see it. I have yet to see it. So, I mean, I seen I seen the Buzz play him. Obviously, I've seen a little bit of the Buzz. The other guy, Genesis, I believe, did pretty well with him. But other than that, it's just been like, all right, Amar kind of exists. Now for this too, we're gonna put Young Link up here. 
Young has great kill setups. I love the way he like uh, arrow, arrow, up -y, or like his combo game's pretty good. I, I love his down to the up airs, like almost always guaranteed. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal nair. Very similar to Wolf's or any, any or Fox's or the Spaces nairs. It's really besides Falco. It's really good. You just last for a long time. Lingering hitbox. You can gape with it. You can ledge guard with it. You could uh, just throw it out. Nair to down tilt or whatever you want to do after that. Nair to grab, to up throw, to up air. Like, there's so much that Yoga can do. If he manages his projectiles, you can have a great, great, great freaking time. He does kind of struggle to kill. The worse you are at the game, lo and behold, it's going to be harder to kill. But what I mean by that is... You need to put in a lot more work, I would say, with Young Link to get a kill than a post to someone like Krom, Roy, uh, Cloud, Regular Link. Even Regular Link kills so freaking early. Wolf, Lucina, like any of these characters appear, kill pretty easily when they land the smash. And I say around 100%, you're in kill range with any of these characters in the top notch. Without a doubt, maybe not Inkling because they need the ink on them. But Ike, Wario, Wolf, Lucina, Pichu, Daisy Peach, hell yeah, dude. You're in kill range at 100%. Um, while with Young Link, you're in kill range between like 130 to 150-ish. Uh, it could be earlier as well, obviously, but I think you need a little bit more work to, um, to get kills with Young Link. Otherwise, he could be top-notch, but I think right now, he's gonna be putting the good tier. Anything else I wanna move around over here? Uh, I think we can put Rob in good. I don't wanna put him top-notch, but Rob does that. Like, the more I play Rob's, like... Uh, even if I haven't really played an amazing Rob yet, I, I can just see he has the tools to be a really good character. The projectiles, the ledge guard, and the side B. You just throw that out there and, like, ledge guard you with that. It's insane, man. How good he is. Um, how good he could be off stage. Good recovery. Very punishable, but, like, Rob is a thick boy. He's gonna live for a while. Uh, but he yeah, does have a punishable recovery. But a lot of the good characters kind of do have a punishable recovery. Um... Great hitbox is a great throw. You down throw them in the ground. You can hit with the up smash. You can combo them out of it kind of thing. But they got to be a little higher than like... I would say around 40 50 is when they're in the ground for a good amount of time. You can then combo them out of it kind of thing uh, going on. But uh, yeah, we're going to put we're gonna put uh, Rob up there. And he has pretty good skins too. So for the skins alone, we're going to put Rob into the good tier, amigos. Uh, anybody else here? I think Game Watch is so slept on. I really do. I think Game Watch could be good. But right now, we're going to put him, actually, let's go look at we're downgrading him. We're going to put him underdeveloped. We're going to put Ice Climbers here. Uh, we're going to put uh, Rosaline here. Uh, underdeveloped. We're going to put uh, the, uh, the, what do you call it? It's the, the Belmonts in Pella Playable. Uh, Ken and Ryu. Like they, I feel they should like, be in their own tier, honestly. Uh, we should have put Rosaline in garbage. We'll put it right here, actually. We'll put her in struggles. She's just not the force she once was. Uh, we're gonna get Luigi the hell out of here. Put him playable. Luigi, I was very wrong about. I, I, I even like played Luigi for a bit. This character could combo so freaking well, dude. How good this character can combo early on. Like you get hit, you get hit by one nair, it's it. You get in there, up tilt. You get in thrown. You get in jab. You get in chop. You get in freaking back chop. You get in the fo forward air chop. You get in the forward smash chop. You get in the back airs, the fireballs. Um, I don't know why they cashed in Luigi. And got rid of his uh, Cyclone set him flying in the air. They give the Dr. Mario, which is why I have him right here. But, like, uh, my boy Luigi got cashed right in that sense. He has a tether grab now. And the way I explain it is, like, when you land a tether grab, you're like, yeah, that was great. That feels good. But when you miss it, like, god damn, this character sucks. It's kind of like that's already going on with him. I, 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 oh. I wish if he had his down B still, I would argue Luigi could be, like, one of the best good tier characters. Uh, top notch, maybe. But uh, easily one of the best good tier characters, without a doubt, if he had his uh, Dabby recovery back. Uh, anything else that I noticed right away that I want to move around? Uh, let me get back. I, I think Bison is playable. This character can edge guard so well. Uh, put in the work. His Nair is fast. His forward air. It lasts a long time. Has really weird hitboxes, honestly. Like, it lasts longer than you would expect. Back air is good. He has phenomenal recovery. He can have, like, three jumps. Because he can do his little cart. Jump out of that. So, if it's a double jump, he can still double jump as well. I believe you can still double jump. I'm almost positive you can. But it feels like you can't, though, which is, like, why you don't go for it. But I think you can. I, I think I've done it before. Could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that, people. But I really think Bowser Jr. is like, he's definitely not struggles or trash. This character, like, I don't get why he gets hated. This character got nerfed. In what sense? Like, what, what does he do? Like, I mean, I didn't play much Smash 4. I really want to know. But we're going to keep Bowser Jr. playable for now. Just alone because he can edge guard so well and just... Putting a lot of pressure and like, that fair and I'm telling you, dude, this character and this jab is so fast. Great down to the hits three times. You whip something, you just throw it down to it. It hits like three or four times and then it, it has some decent knockback and you can combo out of it. I oh, tell you, man, this play. 
If you if you if you wanted to test my theory here, play this character and see what happens, man. Basil Jr. is definitely not a struggling character. Uh, anybody else here? Uh, I still want to say Diddy struggles. I, I he's just the character he once was. He's really not. Um, probably move Bayonet at playable as well. Keep letting back here. We're gonna pack you from garbage. You're gonna call this a uh, disgrace. Actually, you're a disgrace of this game. That's gonna be that little Mac uh, change there. But overall, people could argue Mega Man is good, but I I don't like Mega Man. Honestly, my bias right now is showing because I just don't. I, I a character without a nair and without a um, jab is just like so weird to me. Yes, he has like the, 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 bloop, 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 the little lemons coming out, but like. For me, I can never get used to that, man. I would, oh, it, it's just so weird. So, honestly, Mega Man probably could be higher. But on my tier list on my channel, we're going to keep him playable for now because that's the way it's going to be. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? We're going to put Falco in good. Falco is actually pretty damn good. Uh, he's not the level of Fox or maybe he's even with Fox. Like, he's not wolf level, but he's definitely really good. He has a lot of good little strings, little combos, and his, uh, his forward air is actually a lot better edge guard than you would expect, in my opinion. So, we're going to put him right here. We're going to put him just barely get it. If there's, if there's the order tier list, we'll put Falco the last in the good tier list. Um, obviously, it's not ordered at all. Uh, I just want to get a generic uh, picture out there for you guys. Because I think this tier list is going to be actually a really, really accurate one for the current game. Um, overall, I think that might be a talent squad. Corrin does struggle with that. She has some good juggling and whatnot, but overall, it's a rough life of Corrin, man. Really bad recovery, really slow. She does have some cute juggles, like I said, down tilt jabs, nares, fares, but other than that, she's just like, well, what do I do now? While, like, Lucina, for example, always has pressure and speed, momentum in her favor and whatnot. Uh, anything else? Anything else? I think that might be it. Everybody can stay where they are. Uh, and that's actually going to conclude today's Cheetos video chat. I think... Hold on, one last, one last look around. Um, like I said, with Game of Watch, this is really a nerf to him or uh, uh, him getting decreased. I just think he can be good. You know, let's just put him in good. Let's just put him there. Let's just put him there, chest. That's going to be our final look at the T-list right there, my friends, for now. Um, it is not ordered. Keep that in mind. It is not ordered at all. Uh, if I did have to order this, though, just for the top notches... I put Wolf like eighth. Like it's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's actually seven. All right. If I did order this though, it would be like something like this. That'd be my that'd be my higher up uh, tier list or my top notch ordered. Let me do this top notch ordered, and then the rest is just how it is friend those all right yeah that's gonna be that talent squad thank you for watching as always hope you enjoyed this video if you guys agree let me know if you guys agree let me know does your character belong higher tell me why if that character should be lower also tell me why with that being said the account english is hard talent squad i'll see you later today for a nice smash ultimate stream we'll be playing some uh view games with you guys there so at 4 p.m eastern i'll catch you live on the twitch channel be sure to follow me down below and with that being said and done love you guys very much catch you later and we'll see you next time